welcome to Android Dialogues, where we have bite-sized conversations with people in the Android community. I'm Huyen Dao, and I'm speaking with... I'm Keishin Yokomaku. Keishin, thank you so much for joining us today. We are actually in Tokyo, Japan at Droid Kagi. Uh, Keishin is actually one of the organizers of Droid Kagi. Um, Keishin, how did you get started in Android? So I started developing Android uh, about five years ago. Mm. And my first experience of Android is uh, the Android 2.3. So mm. it's quite old. <laughs> Gingerbread. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, at that time, we, I developed a social network application called mm. Mixi, mm. which is the biggest, one of the biggest uh, social network in Japan. Oh, wow. Yeah. I have, I have an experience on Java development mm -hmm. before, the, before starting the Android development. So mm. I smoothly uh, <laughs> start developing Android, mm -hmm. Jerry. But uh, sometimes I, I'm, I was confused about uh, the difference between Java and Android because mm -hmm. there's no constructor on the activity. Right, so right, yeah. we, Oh, we, how we initialize the activity. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. but uh, I get used to the Android development mm. uh, in two, two years. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. yeah, now I, I can develop. <laughs> it's, so, it's always funny because I think um, it's, so, it's so close, but Android yeah. has all of its sp specific, you know, uh, uh, architecture and structure so that even yeah, yeah. if you come from a Java background, yeah, yeah. it's still new and different. Like you said, <laughs> it's like, I can't make the activities by myself. So it's always, yeah, the learning process. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. At the speaker dinner, uh, Kishin was talking uh, to us about a awesome app uh, called Drive Mode. And Kishin, could you tell us and show us a little bit about what Drive Mode is about? Yeah. Yes, so this is the application mm. and you can see the black circle on the right mm -hmm. and you can swipe this circle and open the menu mm. and you can access the music, music menu mm. and the phone and mm. texting mm -hmm. and music also navigation. you can use the navigation and the ah. normal application. Mm. And let's see how it works. Um, for example, for the navigation, uh, you can see the destinations list here. Mm -hmm. And you can select one of the destinations. Mm -hmm. And if you tap, the Google map will launch immediately. Mm. Yeah. And you can start navigation immediately. Mm. And the this block circle mm. is working on mm -hmm. the Google uh, Google Maps. Yeah, that's great. It's actually still overlaid on, yeah, on yeah, the Google yeah. Maps. It's so convenient. Yeah. So you can use, for example, music mm. uh, while doing uh, navigation. Google Play Music. I love that loading. Uh, yeah, that loading yeah. animation is very pretty. I like it. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, playing music. Yeah, that's that's, that's incredible. Um, and yeah. and the design is, is just so polished and beautiful. Can you can you tell us a little bit about the, uh, I guess uh, uh, it, the way you kind of uh, built the design? Yeah. Uh, like your kind of I guess uh, goals with the design of, of this app. Yeah, yeah. So our application is intended for use uh, drivers while driving. So uh, obviously drivers cannot see the screen so uh, we need to simplify the UI so we have a very big UI mm. and icons mm. so you can easily uh, know what is going on mm -hmm. and we also have a voice feedback mm. for example oh, really? if you mm. select navigation mm -hmm. right, it says okay. navigation mm. so Actually, you don't need to see the screen, mm -hmm. so we call it uh, no look UI. Oh, no look UI. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. That. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's great. Just because you know, obviously, you want to pay attention when you're driving. So making it so obvious and, yeah, and yeah. making it uh, 
uh, not necessarily visual UI. So yeah, this yeah, is yeah. fantastic. Uh, so it's already in the on the Google Play Store, and you should definitely check it out because yeah. it's a beautiful app. Um, so thank thank you so much, Keishin. Uh yeah. If people wanted to find you on the internet, uh, yeah. where can they do that? So I I'm using the Twitter and GitHub, mm. and uh, my account name is Keith Yokoma. Mm. So you can easily find my name. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining yeah. us, and thank you guys. Bye. Bye.